What if you could connect your notes together in the same way that your brain connects thoughts? Some tools like Obsidian let you link your notes together. Some have beautiful graphs. But what if we took the graph a step further? What if you could connect notes visually on a canvas and work with them there? You could see in front of you how your notes, ideas, and sources are connected while you're working on them. For some people, a change like this helps them have new ideas. For others, it helps them focus. It's normal to feel trapped into a structure when you're writing. With an infinite canvas, it's effortless to reorganize or restructure your work. All your sources, media, and notes can live together on the same page. That way they can be referenced while you're writing. It's never been easier to capture and connect ideas, do research, find clarity in your work, and solve complex problems. All you need is the right tool. All right, guys, today I have an incredible new note-taking app that I'm excited to share with you. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, and I just I really enjoy it. These days, most note-taking apps are pretty familiar. They're all built around the same basic concept, just they all look very similar. This, on the other hand, feels completely new to me. It's a different approach to personal knowledge management, and it has an impressive list of features that I think you're going to love. The app we're exploring today is called Scrintle. Scrintle is a note-taking app that combines an infinite canvas with more traditional long-form note-taking. This is super unique, and while it's still in early development, I think it's worth exploring now because it's really become something great. If you're a visual person that likes making mind maps and stuff, then Scrintle might be your new favorite tool. And if you're someone who likes to connect notes together like you might do in Obsidian, Scrintle is also incredible for that as well. This is a great tool if you're a marketer or an entrepreneur or a student or a researcher, anyone that takes a lot of notes. In this video, we're going to break down Scrintle's unique features, and we're going to compare them to popular note-taking apps that you probably are familiar with. All right, let's dive in. So when Scrintle reached out to do a video with me, I had never previously used the tool. I'm so glad they did because this thing is awesome. What we have here is my first iteration of a dashboard, essentially. I've got my goals, tasks, some primary boards, and then a reading list that are all easily accessible for me. This is an infinite canvas. They call it a board. This is Scrintle's big feature. But what I love about this is that I can kind of jot down anything anywhere like an actual whiteboard. It's much less rigid than a traditional file structure. If I wanted to, I could create an entire mind map right here below my dashboard and have everything all together and just move it to its own board later. These cards are actually your notes pages and you can arrange them however you like. You can also change how they look with different sizes and colors. All right, now let's talk about the second biggest feature within Scrintle. After you've created a few notes, you can connect them with bi-directional links, also known as backlinks that show up in this side panel. I love this. Originally, this was popularized by Rome Research, and now we see it in most popular note-taking apps. Scrintle makes backlinking even better by visually showing you the connections. And you can easily see how your ideas are related, which makes studying and researching so much easier. It also shows all the other boards and tags associated with the card, which is huge for discovering new connections. This is really powerful stuff, and if you're looking to build a Zettelkasten, then Scrintle is a great option. One of Scrintle's superpowers that I haven't mentioned yet is that their cards can be in multiple places at once. So for example, if I'm researching Steve Jobs and I have a card quote of his, let's say it's on creativity, I could also have the same quote on a board about creativity. Then I can see the connections through backlinks as well. What's even cooler is that you can open up multiple cards within a board and work on all of them at the same time, referencing one as you're working in another. I can see that being incredibly useful for all kinds of use cases, and I found it really useful while scripting this video. Another great feature about these cards is that you can open them up in a focus mode and have a more traditional writing experience like you might find inside Notion or Google Docs. Next, let's talk about tags. Pretty much all good note-taking apps have tags, and I'm really happy to see this built into Scrintle. My favorite way to think about tags is where the hash symbol means is a. This is how I approach tags in Tana and also Reflect. So this card is a quote, so I give it a quote tag. Tags can live anywhere on the card. It doesn't matter where you put it. Then they're all aggregated on the side here. This is a dedicated page for all the tags you create across all cards. All right, next, Scrintle has tasks built in. This is awesome. They even have this dedicated task page. So if you add a task to any card anywhere in Scrintle, they all get aggregated here and they're organized by card. How cool is that? And you even get a little progress circle for each card, which I like a lot. This is cool because you can turn any text into a task wherever you're working, and then you can find it here later without going back to the board or card you were working on. It's just really convenient and makes it really easy to stay organized. Another cool thing about Scrintle is that you can add links and images and YouTube videos and PDFs to your cards, and they look great. For example, you can watch a YouTube video and take notes at the same time, which is a great way to focus because YouTube can be pretty distracting. 
Links also show up on the dedicated links page, no matter where you put them inside Scrintle. All links across all boards live here, which is huge for finding things later. All right, let's talk about sharing. One of the things I dislike about Obsidian is how hard it is to share your notes. On Scrintle, it's really easy. To share these boards or cards, all you have to do is click the share or publish button. I don't think it gets easier than that. When it comes to privacy, Scrintle is also great. They are GDPR bound because they're based in Sweden. So your data is extremely safe and private. So I love the general direction of this app. I love the simple design. I think it's easy to use. I'm a visual person, so it just makes sense to me. It's still very early for Scrintle, and there are definitely some features that I wish that they would add, like a Readwise integration. But overall, this is a great tool. And if you're interested in trying it out, there's a 10% off discount code in the description of this video, or you can use the code right here. That code is valid for the next four weeks. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you, Scrintle, for sponsoring this video. If you want to watch a video about how to build your own online community, then click that right there.